In this video, I will be showing you how to visualize your Airtable records in a calendar view. So we have our data here in a grid view, and we have a due date and a published date for each one of our online slash digital communications. To turn this into a calendar, we go to our view menu, we slide this over, and we click on the calendar view, and we create the view. Oops. So let me do that one more time so you guys can see create the calendar view and it's going to give us the option to use the dates that we care about on this calendar. So this is the start date and this will be the end date for you. I'm going to use the publish date as well as the due date. Um, this allows us to create kind of two calendars on one uh, for each of these different types of dates. So we're going to go ahead and pl uh, plot that and as you can see it's going to tell us whether each one of these events is a due date or a published date. Adding another layer of a visual depth to it, we can add a color to sort of make certain types of uh, communication stand out. And we can change the time scale that we have for this data as well by choosing uh, this time scale button. You can also jump to today and move throughout the weeks or throughout the ranges with these arrows as well. A nice feature about this is that we can see all of our records at once um, by using this uh, list over here. We can choose whether we see ones without a published date, with a published date, without a due date, with a due date, or just all the records. So we'll do that. And as you can see, this is going to tell us the chronological order of everything on our calendar. We also have the ability to customize the labels um, and add an image field. But this uh, calendar view is going to give you, um, it's going to be a little bit too small to really give you the option to have too many different fields show up as your label. So your best bet is to stick with one and have that be your label. You can click into any one of these records and change the values that are showing up. So if I add the, uh, a different field here, say type, when I open this up, it will show me that different type and I can change it from this uh, little menu. You can also expand the record and change anything about the record there as well. Finally, I can slide any of these uh, dates into a different day as I please without any issue. And when it comes to deleting this view, just come up to the view menu or the, click on the view's name, click delete or open the view menu and delete from here as well. So that is how to use Airtable's calendar view. Stay tuned for the next video.